All right, guys, I didn't get back on this today, but I want to do a little paint video for you. We're going to make some premium base. Standard. Standard. Well, it's, it's like premium. The difference between the premium and the standard, uh, the toners are a little bit different, but the the standard is still a good quality base. It, actually, I prefer it over the premium, unless I'm doing a late model car and need the color match technology, because uh, most of the color match technology goes into the MBP, the premium base but the standard base mixes one to one and a half. So if you're doing an all over, uh, you get a little more sprayable with the standard base than you do the uh, premium base. It's a one to one where the standard's a one to one and a half. So uh, we're mixing the standard here and uh, I wanna show you uh, the difference here. The other day we mixed the, uh, the cheap paint per se, you know, uh, mostly a uh, binder and uh, 80% toner. Uh, we're going to go the other way now. This is going to be the premium and we'll show you the toner difference. Uh, so this is white and uh, Wimbledon white. That's yellow. A little different color yellow here. And uh, That's the odd thing about white. Usually it has black, yellow, blue, uh, sometimes uh, weak black in it. Uh, almost never solid white uh, so white is not white and black is not black as we've uh, all found out if you paint cars uh, some are more brown some are blacker than black uh, so there's the black and uh, sometimes looks like this white's going to take black also does it get blue too uh, no. no blue so there we go we have uh, our tents in there we had three different colors. We had two different yellows and a weak black. And uh, now we're going with our white toner. So, you remember yesterday we were uh, all the way at the bottom of the can. And then we topped it off with toner. You got a little uh, dingleberry there hanging off the can there. There you go. Sorry, Tommy, I threw it on the floor. Yeah. Tommy knows I'm trying to clean up and change my ways, but it's not easy. So this is for the Porter project. This is some Wimbledon white for the sheet metal. And uh, Greg wanted a, what did he want, a half a pint? Yeah. And uh, I need a pint, I think, so, because I got to paint more stuff than he does. But, uh, so I made a half quart and I'll pour him off. But there you go. All right, what they saw yesterday was a quart and a half mix. Okay. Okay, this is a uh, three quarters of a quart mix. However, yesterday's, took 300 grams of color, 930 grams of balancer. Now, this one took 850 grams of color and only 53 grams of balancer. There you go, so we're only gonna put 50 grams of the balancer in here. And uh, somebody asked me the other day if the balancer was a reducer, and it's not a reducer, it's uh, there's different types of balancer. Uh, they have the balancer for the standard, the balancer for the premium. Uh, it's a white in appearance stuff. And then uh, the balancer for the cheaper paint is uh, oh, much thinner. Uh, you know, it's also called balancer. And uh, it's not reducer. It is sort of on the thin side, though. So when you thin it already with that balancer and that balancer, and then you add reducer on top of it, right? I think they really grams of color doesn't go a whole lot right. away. And it's the same with any paint company. You know, they always have a, a cheaper, uh, cheaper way to make the color. You have to do that because people a lot of times will shop on price and they don't understand. And paint companies aren't going to break it down for you and show you that they're selling you a binder. So I try to make the customer aware that, you know, they're buying a binder instead of a uh, toner. And uh, it's better to buy the more expensive paint and just buy less of it. Uh, somebody had asked me a question if it makes it less durable with the cheaper paint. And uh, although we're using the same toners, uh, the problem is, is that uh, you don't get as much. You, you don't have as much toner, uh, so the color is not as brilliant. And the other problem is there's a difference in these toner or uh, binders, you know, the weight difference in the amount that you put in the can. When you start adding 80% balancer to your uh, base coat mix, what happens is it, it not only uh, gives you almost the same mills with less coverage, 
but this has to evaporate somewhat out of the base before you can clear it and most people don't wait the extended time to let this evaporate it's a it's more of a solvent than the the typical type balancer that we use in the premium base so being that it's a solvent anytime we introduce a solvent into a base coat being whether it's a, a watery balancer or the reducer that we reduce the paint with uh, flash times and as you see the panel go from wet to uh, satin finish is the release of this uh, reducer that we've introduced into the product uh, it lets it evaporate out of the uh, base and uh, that's called our flash time well when you use this it tends to not be able to flash all this out and when you clear coat it you tend to get more dieback with the cheap base so uh, it can affect the, uh, the gloss, the next day gloss uh, can be buffed back to a shine, but it can also cause dieback with the cheap base because you're uh, putting more coats on, you're stacking the coats on top of each other and it doesn't allow it to uh, release the solvents. A lot, a lot of the same effect is when we uh, stack our uh, clear and our primers. You know, if you stack the primer, it'll crack. And if you stack the clear and it's not made for it, it'll solvent pop. All right, Ann, thanks. I was just telling you to watch your time because you're putting that on the one that's got to be under 15 minutes. There's no under 15 minutes, but I'm good. Six okay. minutes, so I'll make it short, though. So anyway, that's a little paint information there. Andrea's swatting mosquitoes. Where's all my toners? Billy's? Oh, all my toners are here. Oh. Just some of them, the thingy stick, so that they're up on oh, the Oh, you top move right. them. Oh, okay. Otherwise, I have to, like, fight them. So anyway, there's we go mix the standard base. We'll do a premium base mix, and it's very similar to the standard, you know, with the toners. The toners, as they get older, uh, become a standard toner. And uh, the newer toners that come out are the premium toners. So uh, we have the single stage, the cheap base. The yeah, I've explained that we can make single stage, too. And the way we make single stage is by putting that uh, 80. Uh, it's a different type of binder. You know, we got the... Uh, the balancer and the binders and then there's the base coat converter there 89 and then you got the uh what is it 80 95. no the 80 to uh, convert for the, stage, for the single stage yeah and then you got the custom colors and the candy colors and yeah so we can do pretty much anything with this stuff so it's a pretty cool system all right guys i missed a couple guys on the stickers and i apologize got some emails I need to answer and we're gonna do that tonight so it's our night off so we'll do that classic cruisers Mike there thanks for the Nova sticker I forgot you earlier oh, Jeff Chance wants to know if this sticker fell down no it did not fall down I am showing it right now I'm sorry Jeb you, if you send me another one I can put you on the inside you know Hans he put some stickers on the outside here he did that to Tony and he did that to you and he did that to Mike so uh, you know, if you'd like, I'd definitely put another sticker up in here, you know, facing the, you know, the camera. But I don't want to forget John. Jeff Chance, the sticker didn't fall down. Still got it. There's time to tinker, the good side of the sticker. Tony, I'm going to show Tony. Uh, and then Mike here. And then the New Hampshire Speed uh, Motor Speedways came from uh, Sata Jet 883. He gave that to me when uh, he went to that race there. So that's where that sticker came from. So that's what's going on guys. We're fixing to go have some barber crew. Well, closest thing we have to it here, unless I make it. It's a place called Sunny's, and uh, we're gonna go hit that. They just opened one up by the house. So, uh, temperatures come down a little bit. 80, 90% humidity. It's bearable, you know, it's still hot. HBR, saw his video, man, sorry he's having trouble. And, uh, you know, hopefully you get some videos up there and uh, things smooth out for you, buddy. Uh, you know, I don't know what to say. Sometimes life will throw you curves and sometimes, uh, you know, it's all good. But uh, sometimes you get more than one curveball in a row. So uh, hopefully it changes for you, your luck, you know, and uh, things will calm down and you can get to making the, the videos we all love. And... Uh, you won't be gone long so uh yeah man i hope everything smooths out for you and uh i saw dave uh dave dang was working on a nova mm, from passat to nova it's pretty cool man sounds like another volkswagen guy we know but uh save those six cylinder springs those work good uh maybe even buy those from me you know if you want to get rid of those so uh don't throw those in the trash
But anyway, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. And uh, we got this bug and I'm really excited about it now. I'm sort of pumped up. I, I gave it all I had today and I ran out of steam. So tomorrow we'll uh, finish welding that and get to grinding and uh, do a little mud work. And uh, we gotta buy a nice sharp drill bit to uh, drill some eighth inch plug holes for the window surround there and I'll plug well those and grind them down all nice and uh, then we'll seam seal this in with some two-part seam sealer and uh, get the priming this in the car here and uh, yeah it'll be good I got a little horsehair mohair to get up and some glue and some old headliner material here and there to uh, get cleaned up we'll put Hans on that and we'll throw some sealer on this and uh, put some color on it and I'm really wanting to get it off the chassis for sure and uh but that depends a lot on scooter you know i need him to come over here and make some sort of a stand or a dolly to roll the body around on so we uh can move it but uh if he wants to do that then we'll do that and if he doesn't want to do that then we'll just do it on the chassis and i'll uh touch the chassis up the best that i can but uh so that's where we're at though we're definitely moving forward on this one so yep all right hopefully more project on or more project pro progress on the 1915 here but uh not right now to get the valve covers got to come up with some bales we got a lot most of our sheet metal gathered up we just mixed our paint so uh we'll seal that stuff in the morning and shoot it and uh, this will look a lot more like a motor here in the next day or two and uh yeah so it'll come it's coming i'm working on it I'm, uh, I'm constantly making a list and checking it twice in my little head there. So I almost broke down and made a list, but then I figured I wouldn't be able to read it after I got it filled out. So I'm just going to go with the in the head thing. And uh, the more projects I get done, the easier it is to remember stuff. So, so there we go. Guys, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, have a good night. Try to stay uh, safe. Be nice. And uh, yeah.